4321. Hello, my name is Sarah, and welcome po to my YouTube channel. I am Teacher Hope, and I am your Montessori teacher here in China. My contents are all about my teaching ideas, my life here as an OFW in China, my travels around China, and probably around Asia. Today's video is share ko po sa inyo ang cost of living ko dito sa China. Disclaimer lang po. I just arrived here September 2023, so hindi pa po na one year. Everything that I will be sharing is based on my personal experience here. So, I will be dividing this into five categories. They are accommodation, food, transportation, groceries, and self-pampering. For number one, accommodation. Isa po sa mga benefit ng mga teachers dito sa China ay provided po ng school ang accommodation. So that will really save a lot of money for you. As far as I know, my accommodation is around 1,200. Hindi di ko na po yun pinabayaran. I'm just staying in a studio apartment. I'm okay with that kasi nagtatrabaho ako in the morning and then may part-time din po ako sa gabi. So I'm okay with my setup here. Number one, free accommodation. Of course, your utilities. Kailangan po magbayad ng internet, water, and electricity bills. For the internet, uh, kind of complicated po ang uh, internet uh, payment system po di nila dito. So when I moved to this apartment, wala po itong um, internet connection. So I applied for one. I paid 700 RMB. But that is for 18 months. So I divided this. It's 38.8 RMB. 18 months na po yun. And uh, another thing is, uh, yung connection na yun, meron nang included sa cell phone ko. I mean, when I installed that connection in my house, may free na po siya na SIM, na uh, Chinese SIM. That is uh, China Unicom. So, free na rin po yung internet ko. Example, lalabas ako, may internet connections na po ako. And then, for electricity and water, um, kind of hindi ko pa na-figure out kung paano to yung bills nila. Iniiwan lang to sa may door namin. But, itong bills ko ay naglalaro lang siya between 50 to 80 RMB, yun po yung, yung ranges niya. Mix na po ata, tubig at kuryente, hindi ko rin alam, basta binabayan, yaran ko lang din siya. It is uh, prepaid, so binabayaran po siya in advance, and then uh, on the 10th of the month, mag update na po siya na, okay, this is your remaining balance, uh, probably I sent 100 RMB for one month, and then mag Pag dating ng billing time, magsasabi siya, oh, you still have like 30 RMB. So, yun po, yung narrange po ng usage ko is 30, uh, 80 to 100. Depende din po sa season. So, ako personally, hindi ako mahilig mag-aircon. So, electric fan, sapat na. So, electric fan lang po. Um, since hindi rin po ako masyadong nagluluto, uh, kung walang laman ng ref, then patay din po siya. Wala lang. Simple, simple life. Ganun naman po. And then for food, yes, papunta na po tayo sa food. Speaking of hindi nagluluto, food. So, another good thing sa kindergarten teacher, e libre po kami ng breakfast at lunch sa school. O, o di ba malaking savings na rin po yan. Nakakatipid po talaga tayo. So, yun lang. Uh, the consequences is that you have to be at school at 7.30 para makapag-breakfast ka kasi start ng class at 8. So, breakfast and lunch, free. And mostly po, kasi mahilig tayong mag-sharon, <laughs> nagsisharon na rin po kami ng for dinner, uh, me and my other co-teacher. And kahit yung, yung mga Chinese, kasi po, tinatapon lang din po yung mga pagkain. And sayang naman na Ala kung todo, baon kami. O, oh, ba? So, na-free na po yung dinner. Kung minsan naman, uh, walang maiwan sa lunch, then that's the time na I will be eating out for dinner. For dinner, may ginawa na po ako dito na vlog. Um, this po, i-comment down ko na lang po yung link down that must watch how I spent 100 RMB for one week na meal, dinner. So, roughly po, lagay natin 100 RMB Per week, so four weeks, so 500 kasi minsan, of course, bumibili tayo ng milk tea, coffee minsan. So, 
uh, average 500 RMB for one month. And number three, transportation. Benefit po kasi malapit lang yung school ko. I can just walk for seven minutes from my apartment to my school. So, malakalaka yun po ng titipid. So, free na po yun ang everyday ko. Though, of course, weekend, uh, gumagala rin po tayo, pumupunta tayo ng Guangzhou or bumibisit ng ibang lugar. In my beep card, I just put 50 RMB. Pero yung 50 po yun, hindi po yun nauubos. Kasi mura lang po dito ang mga pamasahe. Imagine, if you're using this beep card, yung bus nyo po, that's only 1.4 RMB. So, mura lang po, parang 10 pesos. Ganun lang po yun. Ganun lang po siya ka, ka mura. So, maganda talaga kung may beep card ka talaga. And then, minsan po, nagdi-didi. Pero hindi po talaga ako suki nagdi-didi yung so, apel lang kung gabi na, wala ng bus. So, makakaspend ko ako ng 10 to 20, 10 to 15 RMB. Pero, yung transportation, yun lang po, 50 RMB lang po yung inaalat ko for that. Kung gumagamit naman po ako ng DD, ay, you know, automatic, kinakaltas ko po sa Alipay ko. For groceries naman po, since nasabi ko po, hindi po ako masyadong magluluto or I am just craving for something. Instead, gusto ko mag, mag pasta, gusto ko mag shrimp, gusto ko mag kumain ng alimang or talaba. So, yun, nakakapag grocery din po ako. But, twice a week lang po ako nag-go grocery and average for that one is like 100. 100 RMB. Kasi yung mga essential supplies ko like uh, mga detergent, mga body wash, yung isang bottle na nabibili ko po would last me 3 months or 2 months. So, malati, malaki talaga yung natitipid. So, not too much with the grocery, yung mga sanitary pads, of course, monthly yun, um, panty liner, shampoo, same thing with the detergent and, and other essentials. So, mura na po siya. So, for that, for the grocery, I allot 100 for groceries and also 100 for pindudo. Minsan po, um, hindi po ako mahilig mag-online shopping. Pero minsan po walang magawa. Okay, tingin-tingin sa, sa online app nila. O oh, bumibili ng mga pakonti-konti sa bahay. Or pakonti-konti na personal na gamit. So I just allot 100 RMB one month. Reward na rin sa self. And number five, ito yung favorite ko. I categorize this as pampering myself. Ito yung pang reward ko talaga sa self ko. Kasi I know I, I've been working hard. Uh, but the thing is, I'm enjoying my job. Yun yung nakakaganda lang. So every month, ito po yung mga expenses ko for pampering myself. Number one is hair shampooing. Kahit nasa Vietnam pa po ako, nakaugalian ko na talaga na every week, na magpamper sa self. So, kaso lang, dito sa area ko, kinda expensive siya. Mga 50 RMB siya. Though, may nakita akong village. Parang local village siya. Malapit lang dito sa, sa, hindi naman kalayuan. Dito sa school namin. So, every Saturday after my part-time job, dumadiretso ako dun and pamper myself. O, ganun. So, pa-shampoo, pa- conditioner, may konting massage na rin po yun. That is about 25 RMB and I'm doing it every other week. So, times to 50 RMB. Another is that, another pampering is body massage. So, yung body massage po, ginagawa ko siya on 15th of the month or yung uh, parang payday treat ko sa self ko. Uh, foot and back massage, that's about 86 RMB. May suki po akong shop. As in, pumupunta. Alam na nila, pag pumunta ako doon, alam na nila kung ano yung gusto kong service. Include ko na lang, though I'm not doing this really so often, is the nails. Um, dito kasi, mostly ng nail services nila ay gel. Ayoko naman din po mag-gel every time kasi nga, nabibitol yung koko ko. I'm just doing this on special occasions. So, for example, graduation, okay. So, mag-graduation ng mga bata. So, that two months. So, hindi na, mag nails ako, then papahinga ako ng two, ng one month, ganun. So, but still, I will include that because pampering din yun ng self ko. So, in total, ito po yung mga expenses ko. Uh, in total, I'm spending around 1,209 RMB only. This is the equivalent in peso and USD. 
So, again, it depends on your own lifestyle. Meron namang kung to expenses ka, okay lang kasi it's your hard-earned money. Pinaghirapan mo rin yun. Kailangan mong itreat ang sarili mo. So, that is just the breakdown of my cost of living here in China. Iba-iba uh, po tayo ng sitwasyon. So, Yes, uh, at the end of the day, importante eh, na enjoy natin ang sarili natin, inaalagaan natin ang sarili natin, in-enjoy po natin ang trabaho natin, at of course, parating magpasalamat sa biyaya ng Panginoon. So, yun lang po ang gusto share ko sa inyo, and don't forget to follow Teacher Hope Vlogs here in YouTube, and Buhay Maestra ni Teacher Hope. I will be sharing more about my life here in China. For now, that's it. Bye, Mom, Sir! Shishi and Sai Jen. Goodbye.